The Holocaust Memorial and Tolerance Center of Nassau County was founded in 1992. Our mission is to teach the history of the Holocaust and its lessons through education and community outreach. We teach about the dangers of anti-Semitism, racism, bullying, and other manifestations of intolerance. We advocate respect for every human being. Located on the beautiful Wellwyn Preserve in Glen Cove, New York, the museum presents a detailed and comprehensive chronicle of the Holocaust and utilizes multimedia displays, artifacts, archival footage, testimonies from local survivors and liberators, and encompasses a special gallery for changing exhibits. Our first major event of 2011, a look at the only Nazi war crimes trial on Long Island, featured Eli Rosenbaum, a war crimes investigator for the United States Justice Department. He donated his trial records to the center in honor of Charlotte Gilman and in memory of her husband Floyd. The testimony of Eugenie Mukashiman, a Rwandan genocide survivor, added poignancy to the event. Other exhibits represented the diverse cultural, ethnic, religious, and other communities across Long Island. We featured with the Circle of Light Navajo Educational Project, the Navajo Code Talkers of World War II, who created an unbreakable code that helped secure victory over the Japanese armed forces. We also hosted, in partnership with the Islamic Center of Long Island, BESA, the Code of Honor, an almost unknown story of Albanian Muslims who saved more than 2,000 Jews during the Holocaust. Students, teachers, employers, and law enforcement benefit from the broad array of educational programming offered by the center. Our educators and facilitators build a bridge from history to the contemporary issues of prejudice and discrimination that many experience today. During the 2010-2011 academic year, we provided programs to approximately 35,000 students and 8,000 adults. For classes that are unable to visit the center, we offer the unique opportunity to meet and interact with a Holocaust survivor through video conferences. And this year, we were nationally recognized by the Center for Interactive Learning and Collaboration for our service to schools across the United States and around the world. The center also conducted 22 programs for nearly 300 Nassau and Suffolk County police recruits and officers in conjunction with the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum and the Anti-Defamation League. Our center was host to directors and educators from Holocaust institutions throughout the country for an educational conference in September about the award-winning Echoes and Reflections curriculum, sponsored by Yad Vashem, USC Shoah Foundation, and the Anti-Defamation League. Yad Vashem has become an increasingly important partner through the exchange of information and materials to further position our leadership in the international community of Holocaust education. We also partnered with Facing History and Ourselves to provide professional development to the teachers of Long Island. Through the generosity of the Claire Friedlander Family Foundation, the center presented the inaugural Friedlander Upstander Awards to two students who were upstanders against prejudice and discrimination. These students shared their personal stories at our annual middle school tolerance and anti-bullying conferences, which expanded this year to Queens, reaching nearly 600 middle school students from Suffolk, Nassau, and Queens counties. At our annual tolerance benefit in May, we began what we hope is a tradition of honoring a community upstander by recognizing the efforts of Hassan Askari, a Muslim originally from Pakistan who intervened in a hate crime assault on four Jewish young people on a New York City subway train. Our third annual golf outing honored Dr. David Bernstein, who has made the mission of respect and tolerance a major part of his personal and professional lives. The event's success set the stage for the 19th annual tribute dinner at the Woodbury Jewish Center, one of the most memorable to date. Lena Elias Russo was honored in recognition of the Russo and Elias families and memorializing the contributions of Benny Elias and Maurice Russo to teach the history of the Holocaust. Sherry and Bernard Vishnik were honored for their dedication to the center's emphasis on teaching children. Isaac Meckel, a director at Yad Vashem, was the recipient of the Bruce Morrell Education Award. Congresswoman Carolyn McCarthy was recognized for distinguished service and commitment to fighting cyberbullying. 
The center could not operate at the world-class level it does without the commitment of volunteer educators, Holocaust survivors and liberators, and our committed board of directors, who have steered the center in exciting new directions in programming and outreach. Survivors and Liberators Eyewitness Testimony adds efficacy to our work with young people and our educational volunteers demonstrate the meaning of being an upstander. While our board, volunteers, professionals, and the museum have made the center a destination for nearly 45,000 visitors in 2011 alone, the location of the center is itself a draw. Several organizations have chosen to hold annual meetings in our large classroom, including Friends of the Israeli Defense Forces, Cordoza Law School, and Energia, an association of Malloy College. Our library is home to over 7,000 volumes of Holocaust, genocide, anti-bias, and anti-bullying material for students and adults from kindergarten through postgraduate researchers. In addition, the Children's Memorial Garden, the only garden of its kind in New York State, is a living tribute to the 1.5 million Jewish children who perished during the Holocaust and the countless thousands of other children who were casualties of World War II. Through our library, special events, guest speakers, education programs, and video conferences, the Center is at the forefront of the discussion and education of tolerance. As we enter our 20th anniversary, hundreds of thousands have participated in our education programs and visited the museum. All of this is only possible with support from people like you. With your help, we can continue to offer enriching programs to build a better world for our children. To learn more about the Center and how you can help, please visit our website at www dot holocaust dash nasa dot org